Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video, we have implemented a game that was a higher lower game, right? I hope you have done that project. Now in this video, we'll be uh, working on one more project and that is what we are going to make a coffee machine. It's a virtual coffee machine, right? Now first of all, the project is you have to make a coffee machine. Now first task is what? You have to understand the requirement. You have to understand the working of that coffee machine. If you have seen, if you are working or anywhere in office or anywhere, if you have seen that coffee, coffee machine, then how it works. Obviously, there are multiple kind of coffee machine. So generally what a coffee machine do, that thing, right? So maybe like it will ask you the, the option, which, coffee, which type of coffee you want, like maybe latte, espresso or cappuccino, right? You will give your choice. Then according to that, it will prepare like if resources are available, then only it will give you the coffee. You will insert, second thing you will insert coin. The coffee machine, we assume that this coffee machine, the virtual coffee machine we are going to make is accepting only coins. 5 rupees, 10 rupees and 20 rupees coin, right? Now you have to insert the coin, it will calculate if you have uh, provided enough money or not, right? And if you have inserted too much money, then it will give you change. And if you have inserted less money, then it will give you like, it will give you, a, it will print a message like that's not enough money and money, your money will be refunded. This kind of thing. Right? So first thing is understand, just go on Google and understand the requirement of coffee machine, right? Maybe my requirements are different from your requirements. That is okay, right? So understand the requirement, write down all the requirement on a piece of paper, divide the complete task, the complete coffee machine project into different, different tasks, small, small tasks, and then complete one, one task, small task, right? And then ultimately you will get your project, right? Okay, now let me show you what requirements I have written, what I want in my virtual coffee machine. See, so if you run your project, then let me just show you the output, what kind of output you will get. It will ask, what would you like to have? latte espresso or cappuccino we have only three options we have given only three options right to our this virtual coffee machine so just i'm entering latte so it will ask please insert coin how many five rupees coin suppose uh, five how many 10 rupees coin five how many 20 rupees coin suppose again five so here is your rupees 25 in change means you have inserted too much money the cost of coffee is not that much and here is your latte right and then again it will serve it will ask to the next customer it will serve to the next customer like what would you like to have and suppose if this time i enter cappuccino then see it will ask, it will show you sorry there is not enough milk so if resources are not enough then it will show this kind of message and then again it will ask what what would you like to have right again if i ask for espresso so yeah, there are sufficient resources available in that coffee machine to make espresso coffee. So it will ask, please insert coin. Again, maybe I am entering like, I don't know how much money is this. You have to calculate the total and it will give you 165 rupees in change because you have inserted too much money. And here is your espresso, right? And if I insert this report, if write report, then it will generate a report and it will show me how much water is left, how much milk is left, how much coffee is left in our machine, coffee machine and the money, the profit because we have served to two customer. So we have like received money from two customers, the payment. So it will add that money here like it is asking in the machine I am having right now 250 rupees, right? Now again it will ask what would you like to have? So if I enter off then it will turn off the machine and just exit from here right so this is the simple one so for this thing what you need to have first the database the resources because obviously in coffee machine we insert some water or the coffee beans right and maybe milk so according to your requirement latte espresso or cappuccino according to that it will fetch milk water and uh, uh, coffee from the machine only and it will prepare the coffee and it will add and what it will do obviously from the resources available in the machine that resources 
for your selected drink would, would be detected, right? And a report will show how much resources are still left, right? So what are the requirements? If you write down the requirement, then these are the requirements I have written. First thing, it will ask from the user for coffee type and will prompt uh, what would you like to have from these options. And see this line is should be in loop because it is asking again and again from the user. See what would you like to have, what would you like to have, what would you like to have, right? Second thing, when you are entering report as an input, then it will show a report something like this, how much water, milk, coffee left and how much money is there in that machine, right? If you enter off, then your program should end the execution, right? Now, if resources are available, it will, first of all, it will check if sufficient resources are available or not for your selected drink, right? If resources are available, then it will ask, the machine will ask, please insert coin and it will calculate the total money received, right? And it will accept only 5 rupees, 10 rupees and 20 rupees coin. Now, next step is, we'll check the payment is successful or not. So, if user has entered sufficient money, then that cost of that drink would be added to the machine as a profit, right? And whenever you fetch the report, then it will show you that money in the machine, right? If user has entered too much money, then it will offer you change. But if user has entered less money, then it will just show a message, sorry that there is not enough money and money would be refunded, right? Now, next step is if payment is successful, then you have to make the coffee. And what is the process like in virtual coffee machine? Obviously, this is not the real one. So, I'll not give you the coffee, just virtual. If payment is successful, then you have to make the coffee and ingredient to make that selected coffee should be deducted from the resources, from that coffee machine resources, right? And it will print a message like here is your, the name of your coffee selected, like here is your cappuccino, if you have selected cappuccino, right? So these are some requirements, right? Now you can pause the video again, you can just write down these requirements, right? Now one by one, we will implement these steps, these requirements. So first thing is this one. It will ask from the user, what would you like to have? Let's create a new file here, coffee machine project dot py, right? So, and whatever your choice, I'll be, will be taking a variable to fetch or to, you know, store that choice in a variable choice. Now, this line should be in loop. How many times it should be repeated? We don't know. So if you don't know the number of iteration, then best is just use while loop. But what is the stopping condition? See, if user enter off, then program should end the execution. So in choice, we can enter these three things or we can enter report or O. Here you can also write down if you want, like press off or enter off to switch off the machine and enter report to get the report. That also you can write down. So suppose I have a variable, if the machine is on, so for that I am taking a variable is on is equal to true, means at first the machine is on, so while is on. Till then, it will ask from the user, what would you like to have? This line would be repeated, right? But if this choice equal to equal to, if you have enter, entered O, then it is the right time to flip this variable and it is right time, right time to switch off the machine or you can say to end the execution of our program, right? So this is on variable will flip this variable to false, right? Now is on is equal to false. Now while is on false, then we will be exit, we will be out from this while loop and we will not ask from the user what we would like to have again, right? But next is if, like obviously we will write down else if or if rather than else if, if you write like if our choice is equal to report, then it should print something like this, the current resources available. 
Now, where are these resources? So, we have a dictionary. In our program, we will be having a dictionary named resources and there we will have these things like water and how much how many how much you need like suppose at first I'll enter 500 or rather than this I'll just write 500 integer right just assume this is what in ml right now next is milk so suppose water I have at first 500 ml, milk 200 <coughs> ml and <coughs> coffee is 100 gram I have. So in report it should print using f string we will be printing like water is equal to and obviously from where you have to fetch the water this value from here 500 ml from the sources from this dictionary. So, how to fetch the value from dictionary, name of the dictionary and here we just pass the key the, as it is. So, water and we will write ml. Same for milk and coffee. So, see it is giving error. Can you see this red, red lines here? So, I have told you in earlier videos like if here uh, opening and closing quotes you are writing double quotes then within this we cannot write down double quotes within this if you need a string then you have to put single quote right if here outside opening and closing are single quote then within these you have to put double quote and this ml would be here now same for milk and coffee so see like this water milk coffee and money as well it will print money as well right so water milk coffee we can fetch from the resources as it is from this dictionary right now where is money so at first we are not having any like variable so let's take a variable profit and at first it is zero because no customer came till now so at first this money is equal to from which variable from profit we can fetch and you can write down like rupees rupees and from this variable we will fetch so like this but if we have entered any specific coffee like latte espresso or cappuccino then then what will happen see now we should write here elif because why so we want that only one condition should be checked either if of then no other condition should be checked if report we have entered report then no other condition should be checked right after this after this after checking this condition and if choice is equal to report then only it will print this thing and whatever you will write after these line that would not be executed right else now if you have entered a coffee name then what will happen now check sufficient resources are available or not so resources we have but obviously we should have ingredient to make latte espresso and cappuccino then only we can check if we have selected latte then in ingredient of latte are water this ml milk this much ml, ml coffee this much gram then those ingredient are order ingredient we can compare with these resources ingredient and then only we can check so we should have first a database of having the ingredient of ingredient of latte espresso and cappuccino right so same suppose i have a variable menu uh, dictionary and there first thing i am having latte right and for this ingredient water milk coffee and coast these four things you want right so the value value again i am taking in the form of dictionary right so the key is ingredients and now value the ingredients are three water milk and coffee so again a dictionary so these are example of nested dictionaries water 200 ml milk 150 and coffee 24 gram i want right okay now 
obviously ingredient as well as we have another key that is cost and cost for latte is suppose 150 rupees right so put comma here so same this is the key is latte and the value is again in the form of dictionary ingredient then again dictionary three ingredient and then latte is having two key ingredient and cost so this is a first entry same for espresso and cappuccino right so here are our resources here we have the menu the dictionary name and resources for latte espresso and cappuccino the required ingredient and cost of the coffee in rupees right now we can compare if we can check like resources are sufficient resources are available or not so how to check else first you have to fetch if you have selected latte then you have to fetch the ingredient of latte because this only we have to compare water milk and coffee so fetch ingredient of your selected coffee right now this is a dictionary so how to fetch we know from the dictionary dictionary name is menu and we will give a choice whatever choice latte espresso or cappuccino and we will so whatever you have fetched that let's suppose we print you have taken a variable coffee type right so let's run this and see it will ask what would you like to have suppose i am i'm giving latte so it will give this ingredient of latte and cost because latte is a dictionary and see latte we have given this latte so in this dictionary we are having ingredient as well as second key value pair is cost so it will give us it will get us this thing again it is asking what would you like to have if i enter cappuccino then it will give me the cappuccino ingredient and cost right now if i enter report then it will show you the resources available water milk coffee and money is till now zero obviously at first it is zero so and if i enter off then exit so till now we are fine right we have implemented first point second point third point now you have to check sufficient resources are available or not so how you will check this thing you will create a function check resources and there what you need to pass the resources that is available globally because this dictionary is global right so what you need to pass the selected if you have selected latte then ingredient of latte right and those ingredients are in this variable coffee type see this coffee type is a dictionary don't look at this error you just have to see ingredient this latte is having this coffee type we have stored whatever it, it will fetch in that variable coffee type this variable coffee type so in coffee type we are having ingredient two key value pair ingredient these and second key value pair is cost but we want only ingredient we don't want cost so again you have to fetch whatever the key ingredient is the key and the value of this key this one right so what you will write here coffee type and the key is what ingredients right now it will fetch this only water milk and coffee these three values only and it will pass these three values to this function right and that's exactly we want only three values not the cost of the coffee right so let's define a function here check resources and obviously you should have a variable check resources and whatever we will have one parameter to fetch the ingredient the name is order ingredient right this is a dictionary so now compare first obviously water with water milk with milk coffee with coffee 
right you have to compare like this water 200 ml we need water 500 ml sufficient milk 150 ml we need milk at first 200 ml sufficient coffee to, to 24 gram we need coffee 100 gram sufficient right so this is how you need to check so you have to loop through for each item right so you have to loop through means you have to take you have to write down a for loop for item in in order ingredient whatever you have passed so if order ingredient see this is a dictionary order ingredient right so order ingredient and whatever the item right now this loop is going through is greater than resources and item if this is the case then what you need to print there is not enough and whatever the item the loop is going through so we are using a string here right and then it will return false right if this is the case then return false otherwise a return true means yes sufficient resources are available it will return this thing so say at first in order ingredient what we have water milk and coffee this dictionary this is again a dictionary right so this is having this value now for item in order ingredient so first item would be water so first key water is assigned in this item so first is water right in item i am having water so order ingredient item is water water is greater than resources water 500 ml 200 ml is it greater no so again we are not entering here but now next ingredient is what milk because we are still in this for loop then milk would be assigned then milk milk would be compared and third time coffee would be assigned to the item and coffee and coffee would be compared right and this if statement is every time false so we are not going to enter in the into the safe now end of this dictionary because we have loop through this through this dictionary till the end right till coffee now it will return true means yes ingredients are available if ingredient are available then it will ask from the user please insert coins for payment right because after that only the machine is going to make coffee so i hope this definition of this function is clear to you guys right so whatever it will return we are going to maybe store in a variable or directly we can write down a for uh, if statement if check resources this so either it will return check resources function will return true or false so based on that if it is returning first time it is returning true so if true means we can enter into this if statement right and if resources are available then see if resources are available then next task is machine should ask to insert coin and calculate the total money received from the user right so next step is this now next we will suppose we will uh, we will make a uh, function process coins right so we will not pass anything here and let's define this function here we will not pass anything so no parameter would be required and first it will print please insert coin right and we will take a variable total is equal to 0 now 5 rupees coin 10 rupees and 20 rupees coin only three coin the machine will accept so we are going to take a variable coins and 5 and we'll take input from the user and we will ask like so we'll ask how many 5 rupees coin right and obviously that would be in integer form so please convert at first typecast this into int 
So same for 10 rupees coin and 20 rupees coin, right? And at last, just calculate total. So suppose I have entered one one coin of each, right? So total would be how much? Just calculate total. So 20 plus 10, 30 and 35. Total is 35, total money received. So how to calculate? Simply this first like coins, how many? Five number of coins that is in this variable into 5 plus coins 10 into obviously 10 and plus coins 20 into 20. So this is what the total money received. I hope no need to describe why I have done into 5 into 10 into 20. That's very simple, right? And it will just return the total. Now it will return here to the caller, right? So suppose take a variable payment. Payment is equal to process coins, right? Now next, next step is what? See, we have done this fifth one. We have calcul calculated the total. Now check payment is successful or not. So you have to check if user has entered sufficient money, then the cost of the drink would be added to the money to the machine resources as profit. If too much money, then you should offer the change. If not sufficient money, then just print a message. Sorry, that's not enough money and money refunded. Now sixth step you need to handle. So means we need to check now if the transaction or payment is successful or not. So for that also, let's define a function. Def is payment successful and what it will have, it should have to check if payment is successful or not. First thing, we need the money received and the cost of that coffee. We need two things to compare, right? Right? The cost of the coffee and the money received, what the customer has given you, how much money. These two things you need. Right? So say after this, let's call the function is payment successful. And what argument you need to pass? Money received is in what? In this variable payment. The total in is this variable payment and the cost of the selected coffee. If you have selected latte, then cost of latte. See this thing. Only the cost of latte. So this complete thing, we are having this coffee type in this dictionary. So, but, but I want to access only this key value pair, the cost of the coffee, not the ingredient, right? So what you need to write here, the name of the dictionary is coffee type and there just the key name cost, only this key name cost parcel. And it will fetch the cost of latte if you have selected latte and then it will pass and the payment is what you will receive from here here the total what user has entered right now compare if this money received is greater than or equal to the coffee cost if this is the case, then what would happen? See, if sufficient money is there, then cost of the drink would be added to the machine as profit, to the machine resources as profit, right? So, profit, we have a variable. Profit is now zero at first. Profit is zero. So, profit becomes profit plus equal to whatever the cost of the cost selected coffee right but one thing it will give error because profit is what a global variable right and you are trying to modify this global variable within this function means within a local scope so that is directly you cannot do you can access but you cannot modify it so for that i have told you we have a global keyword so just use global profit now this line will indicate that we are referring to a variable profit that is global. So now we can change this. This thing we have discussed. 
global keyword, local scope, global scope, right? Now we have updated the profit, right? And if too much money is inserted, then you have to give change. Now how much change you will be having that money received minus whatever the cost of the coffee. Just detect the cost of the coffee from the money received and that is your change. And then print, here is your rupees, whatever the change is, fetch the value from here using a string in change. And just return true, right? Because we are, this type of function we are creating like is payment successful, we need to check. Payment successful means true, it, it should return true. Payment successful, not successful means it, it should return false, right? Now else, if sufficient money is not there, then it will print message. Sorry, there is no, that's not enough money and money would be refunded and it will return false, this function, right? So where we are calling this function, it will return the value where? to the caller, so here I am calling this function, is payment successful, right? So now, now see, if payment is successful, payment is successful, then make the coffee. If payment is successful, then you have to make coffee, right? So we will, either we can write down like we will fetch this thing in a variable and then we can put another if that variable is true or false, according to that, we can make the coffee. or if directly you can write down here if and call the function. So definitely it will return either true or false. So if it will return true, so if true means, yeah, we can enter into this if block. If false, then definitely we are not going to make the coffee. So if this is true, then make coffee. So let's create a function again, make coffee. What you need to pass here? to make coffee, obviously the ingredient of that coffee, right? Now, first you need to pass the coffee name, what you have selected like latte, so that would be in this variable choice, what would you like to have? And then ingredient of your coffee. Now the ingredient are, we have accessed in this coffee type, in this dictionary, menu and choice, see. Now these are the ingredient. So just pass the ingredient. So you have to fetch the ingredient. So name of the dictionary and name of the key as it is. Ingredients, ingredients, this key, the, this value only I want. So just pass this key, right? No need to fetch cost, right? Now you are calling this function, then let's define this function here. Make coffee and here we have, we should have two parameter, right? So first thing is suppose coffee name and let's take name order ingredient, same name also you can take because somewhere else also we have taken this name, order ingredient here, that's fine. You can take here same name, so coffee name and the, or you can write down here coffee ingredient, any name you can take, coffee ingredient. Now to make the coffee, virtually we are making, so you need to detect, detect the selected drink resources from the coffee machine resources, right, and just print a message, here is your coffee name. From water, water would be detected from milk, milk and from coffee, coffee. Three, all the item. So you have to loop through all the items. So definitely we need a for loop for item in coffee ingredient. Because right now in coffee ingredient we are having these three things, water, milk and coffee. If you have selected latte. So just deduct these things from the resources available, from the resources available, from this amount, right? So you have to do like resources and item would be minus equal to 
coffee ingredient and item for that particular item right so at first if first the water would be assigned to this item then resources item is water minus equal to means resources item is equal to resources item minus coffee ingredient item so water for water we have 500 ml so from 500 ml how much would be deducted coffee ingredient and item is water so coffee ingredient water is 200 ml so this would be deducted and 300 ml left right like this same for milk and same for coffee and what it should print here is your coffee name and from google you can just search like coffee emoji and from there you can just copy paste that that emoji right and maybe you can write down enjoy like this right so this function is not returning anything we are just printing here right so we will not take any variable or anything to accept the value because it is not returning anything fine so let's try to run this now see what would you like to have i will have latte so it is showing me the ingredient and everything and then please insert coin so i am entering 555 so here is your 25 rupees in change because cost of the latte is 150 and here is your latte enjoy now it will ask to the next customer if i first of all i want to check the report the resources available water is only 300 ml at first it was 500 milk is only 500 ml left and coffee is 76 gram left only and money profit is now 150 rupees now what would you like to have suppose i enter cappuccino so ingredient of cappuccino these are the ingredients so yeah water is available 250 ml but milk is 50 ml and we need 100 ml for cappuccino so sorry there is not enough milk so it is working fine now next if i enter espresso so only water and coffee we need and yeah we have these things right so it will ask please insert coin so i am in, i am inserting less money suppose only 111 of each so that there is not that's not enough money money refunded because we need 100 rupees and these are not 100 rupees so money would be refunded again it will ask so if i enter again espresso and money i enter like 555 so here is your 75 rupees in change again because 175 is total cost is 100 here is your espresso you can enjoy your coffee now again what would you like to have suppose i enter report so water is 250 ml milk 50 and coffee only 58 gram and money now is 250 rupees now i have right now turn off the machine off and exit so i know this one is little bit tough we can say or tricky because many functions and you are you are you know um, there is a coffee machine and you are obviously implementing a virtual coffee machine as it is so a real world entity you have and that you are writing in the form of project right so obviously that would be a little bit tough one and here we are using functions only because if you heard about object oriented programming then to uh, you know implement a real world thing real world entity or real world object or real world project in this form in programming form then the best para paradigm to use is object oriented programming right so yeah we are here following the procedural approach only using functions we are doing this thing that is little bit tough but if you use that op paradigm then it would be a little bit easy or understandable more understandable for you guys right so that's it now from the next video we will be starting op concept object oriented programming concept in python right and then using those we will be implementing the same project again in another way right so there can be many ways to implement the coffee machine or many requirement or maybe you can modify this thing you can play around with this game this code i have only three choices you can have five choices you can have one more thing like mocha and that ingredient one more ingredient you can add one more resource you can add for that you need chocolate 
so you add chocolate so if you got this thing then definitely you can modify your project and you can make a better project or complex one right so if you haven't got this thing it's okay you can just write down this code on a piece of paper one by one you can dry run this and just take a break and you will definitely will get it right try this out at your own if suppose you haven't tried this out at your own you are just working with me then okay don't think that i got this project now that's it no now without any help again try this out write down the complete code again without any help right then you will see how many bugs you are going to get how many times you need to check like obviously you need to copy you need to check the previous coding and all fine so that's it for this video and now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care